In this video, we're going to just make sure that you have the correct way to enter your report cards um, when it comes to second quarter and fourth quarter. So when we're entering our report cards, what you will see now is several different options, several different columns, unlike in quarter one and quarter three where you only have one option open you're gonna have several options open. What you are going to need to fill in if you are teaching a full year class is you're gonna be needing to fill in quarter two, exam one, and average one. So that'd be your semester grade. So when you're doing this, what you wanna make sure of doing, whether or not you have an exam grade, you want to start off by doing quarter two's grades. So check mark on quarter two equals if you have exam grades then, you wanna make sure that you put those exam grades in, which you'll have to enter into each space manually for each student. So if I enter in exam grades manually here, and then you want to do average one, do your semester grades. You cannot do all of those at the same time. That check equals needs to be done separately for each column because in order to get that semester grade, you have to have the scores already in there. So when you are doing these grades, if you do not have an exam grade, you will leave this blank. And then if you're not in a course that has an exam grade, and then do your check equals for your semester average. So if you leave that semester, that exam grade blank, it will just calculate that average off of your first two quarters. If you are in a course that is a semester course, at this point, you would wanna do the final grade as well. However, if you are in a full year course, save that final grade until fourth quarter. 